Chapter 1 Introduction to Derivatives The objectives of this video is to understand what is derivative and who are interested in derivatives I mean to say which who are the market participants and the types of various derivatives that are commonly existing in the market. Before First let us understand what is derivative. The derivative is something which is derived from the underlying. That means a derivative cannot exist independently. In simple words we can say an orange juice is a derivative of orange. Which means the orange juice can't be derived without an orange. The orange basically contains three elements that is the juice, the pulp and the scalp. But what we are interested in is the orange juice. In the same way, a derivative can be only derived from the underlying. A derivative can't independently exist. Today, if you see in the world, we only enjoy derivatives. Here are a few examples. Petrol is derived from crude oil. The power or the energy we, understand, we use is derived from the power plant. The jewelry is derived from gold or diamonds. The food grains that we consume are derived from crops. The software is derived from programs. So in this world we basically and enjoy the derivatives more than the product. In the world of finance the applications of derivatives is immense. The main reason why derivatives are applicable in finance is because, because of the risk and return. We, we all know that the higher we take the risk for an investment, the higher the return. So by the application of derivatives, we can basically bifurcate the risk from return and eliminate the risk so that the investor can enjoy only return. So the world of finance has an immense applicability of derivatives. Now let us see who are interested in derivatives. There are three people who are basically interested in derivatives. They are hedgers, arbitragers and speculators. Now let us see in brief about these three participants. Who is a hedger? Hedger is somebody who wants to mitigate the risk or basically transfer the risk. How can we understand this? Let us take an example of an individual and an insurance company. An individual has a life risk. So he basically takes an insurance policy from insurance company. Here insurance company has a capacity to bear the risk of an individual. So insurance company charges a premium and issues an insurance policy on the individual whereby an individual transfers his life risk to, in, to an insurance company which has the capacity to bear the risk. So insurance company can bear the risk and an individual can transfer his risk. So this is a simple example of a hedging. So hedging is a process by which you can mitigate the risk. We will see further examples in the world of finance by using futures and options how the hedging is done. The second kind of investor is arbitragers. Arbitrager is a person who basically identifies the discrepancy in prices between different markets. It is a bit difficult to understand at this level how an arbitrager works. So, at this point of time, you can basically understand arbitrager is also a kind of a person who is interested in derivative market. We will however see the various arbitrager strategies, how investor applies in our future sessions. Now the third kind of investor is speculators. Now the speculator is a person who basically want to take advantage of market movement upwards or downwards. Speculator has no interest in long term investment. He just want to take advantage of the price movement. 
So speculators uh, use derivatives because derivatives give them a better exposure with very, very little money and they can make an immense money in a very short term. So we will see more speculative examples using futures and options or various derivative products in the future sessions. Now let us see some of the commonly used derivatives. They are forwards, futures, options, warrants, baskets, swaps, swaptions. There are still further many complex derivatives. These are some of the simpler derivatives that we are going to talk about them in the future session. As of now, this is an introductory session, so I am just introducing the various products to you. Let's look, look at the recap of the video. We understood what is a derivative and who are the interested people in the derivatives and the various types of derivatives. In our next video, you will understand what is a forward contract. If you like my video, please subscribe to the below link in the YouTube channel. Thank you.